It's time to drink the pre-workout guys and a bit of motivation before our workout today. The classic Ziz, the legacy video. I know you've all seen it. Listen carefully, bros. This is the revolution. Everybody asks me, what the fuck is this about? What the fuck is up with those videos, cut? You're fucking up yourself, cut. It's a fucking act. There is no Ziz. We're in Thailand! Oh no, we're in fucking High Wycombe. Next month though guys, we are going on a journey, a vacation if you're American, a holiday if you're English. I'm not sure what you call it in the other countries. But just this sun today is getting my appetite up and I actually can't wait to take a break. Literally, I just I think it's something that's needed in 2017 with all these things that are going on like terror attacks and uh, all this horrible disgusting stuff in the planet. So yeah, we're going to be taking a break and I do want to go to Thailand to be fair. Um, one of my dreams and uh, something that I really want to do is go to the hotel that Ziz went to and like, uh, you know, sit outside the pool and feel the motivation and the energy and that. Um, I'm not sure if I will be going to Bangkok though, or uh, I'm not sure how you actually pronounce the uh, the place that I am thinking about going to. It's P-H-U-K-E-T. I don't know if I just straight away just say fuck it or uh, fuck it or uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'm not really sure, sir. But if there's any other recommendations, you know, I've saved a little bit of cash up um, to take this break and I've been making some cash doing online plans which I'm gonna do a separate video on. If anyone is interested in online coaching, Instagram direct message me and I'll hook you up with a good deal. And it's all tailored. I know a lot of the uh, fitness YouTubers will claim to do tailored plans, but when they've got thousands of people messaging them, are they tailored plans? I'm not, I'm not doubting or knocking it, but are they? So we're gonna to go to the gym now and have a good training session and if you are interested, just hit me up in the direct message section and give me recommendations on where to go. It will be in the month of July. All right, guys, we'll see you in the gym. I'm not sure if it's all of England these days or if it's just this part that I'm in and it's the same as back at home because these two places are fine. Th this happens a lot, but you can smile at someone in the street and they just do not smile back. Then like they'll look at you again and you're like, oh, them. You think, oh, they didn't, they didn't see me uh, smile, so you go for another, nearly got hit by a bus. You go for another smile, you know, on their second look, you smile again and again, they're looking at you with a blank face. And I'm not really sure what that is, because I used to have a friend from, I can't remember where it was from. I, I think it might, it was close to Ghana, or it was Ghana. And it was like, everyone says hi, everyone speaks to each other everyone's just so positive there and it's almost like you know that community aspect which is left in some towns in england still but is getting destroyed by many things such as immigration and you know it's just the way that the world's going now and maybe it is just in england but i'm sure i'll find out um by venturing and touring out as my aim is to do what my grandfather did and go to all the different countries. Australia was his favourite country and that is definitely a place that I would love to go. I've actually got a primary school friend living in Australia so if he watches this he might be able to hook me up with some accommodation bro. Woo! Weather is feeling good. I need to get some vests especially for when I go away next month. You know I'm feeling positive now for life. Let's go. What's going on guys, we just got back from the gym, had a really good shoulders and triceps workout. Not following any sort of plan at the moment, we completed the six phases and I would like to set another plan up before I start tracking a plan. But this video is very interesting as I haven't seen one of these done before where it's um, me three years ago doing the exercise and then me now doing the exercise. So that's gonna be very interesting. I'll give you permission to laugh it is very cringy for myself, especially editing this right now as I am. Um, you can see the crazy progression and it just makes you feel like, damn, you've actually progressed this much. 
Um, another thing that I want to say is, what well, I've said so far, it's cringy and uh, yeah, cue the video. Enjoy it guys. Thumbs up and subscribe for more. I can do this on other sessions as well as I have recorded other sessions. So I think that's what I'm going to go down the route of. Uh, that'll give me like four or five videos to do uh, in the next few days. Boots! Just remember the other thing I wanted to add. It is listen to how unconfident and how depressed I was. This was a point where I was extremely depressed and anxious. And just... After this though, I guess, I uh, started to come out of the depression, started to come myself, laugh at my haircut, like, that's how, like, depressed I was, I was just, like, I uh, didn't even care about my appearance or anything, and you don't want to get to that state in your lives, guys, so, get to the gym, get focused on something in life, something that makes you happy and is going to benefit you in your future, and if you have children, benefit your children, and just enjoy your life, man, go out there, listen to some Ziz speeches, some Greg Plitt, uh, listen to things that will motivate you, and get to work like the quote says you're the only person that can change your life nobody else can do it let's go laugh 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 we are in the gym guys about to start our transformation workout i've never seen one of these before so i thought it'd be quite a good thing to do and we just had a protein shake so i wanted it with milk but there was no milk so the woman gave it for free so thanks a lot let's smash this workout and the muscles warmed up for the working sets of shoulders and arms. You can see Simon is in the Hollister, I think it's a navy blue t-shirt, polo I should say. I'm in the blue and grey striped polo. Jordan is in the, I think it's an American football. Hello, hello, a saucy voiceover. So this is going to be switching from clips, obviously from when three years ago in 2014, to now, so then I was 18 years old and now I am 21 years old. Uh, I think that's what happens in three years time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you enjoy the voiceover even more as it is a saucy one. Looks a bit heavy for Simon. Might have to tell him to drop the weight next time. We aim for three sets of shoulder press on the machine. Obviously our last two sets were pretty heavy could only get about eight reps but that's good because that's in that first clip you can already see the progression no help when doing the pull-ups and managing like 12 reps i think i got on the shoulder press here i'm really trying i'm really trying to push it out get back you know into my my strongest i want to be my strongest again and you know just feel healthy i feel quite healthy actually I'm, my diet's not too bad today so far anyway you'll see me doing some like um twitching in my face in a sec and uh I got like an itch or something, or did I just like, I don't know, have some sort of attack in my face, but I had some itch, and then I tried to get rid of it whilst pushing for the rep. Anyway guys, that's my friend Jordan from college, if he watches this, how you doing mate, I hope everything is going good in your life. Um, but look at that progression man, that was a 20 aside, this is a 20 and a 10 aside. No help needed, and I must say, this isn't even hard. I put two 20s on after this and um, got the reps out pretty easily. I think, I'm not sure how many reps I got actually. Was it 10 or 12? I'm not too sure. But this is a really good exercise that I haven't it's done for done a while. Well, shoulder press. We actually went really heavy on this, but on the video, you can only see me doing 24 kilograms and Simon doing 24 as well, but we actually did 30s in working sets. But the problem is, in this gym there's quite a lot of people around so we didn't really have much chance to record so we had to kind of go back to it to show the exercise. Listen I'm scared of saying that, it sounds like someone's got a gun to my head and um, really scared, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure if I had to keep my voice down or something, I potentially may have when doing the voiceovers but you can see now like my confidence has grown so much and it just, it's just really really good and positive and it's what I want. It's, it's just, you know, it's just a better feeling. Did rear delt flies on the pec deck. After that we moved on to triceps, we went on to the cables and we did tricep pull down. We didn't use a grip on this, we just grabbed the actual cable mechanism thing. This exercise 
probably shows the progression in my physique the best out of all of them like you can see the thickness in my arm you can like the triceps looking pretty lean to be fair uh, the horseshoe is definitely coming out the lucky lucky horseshoe um i'm not sure if i increase the weight on this exercise but it's not an exercise that you need to hypertrophy or as you americans might call it hypertrophy after that we moved on to tricep dips me and Simon and Jordan used the no support but my brother actually used the support because he had already burned his triceps out on the cables and on the... I'm not too sure what those dips were, they definitely weren't 90 degrees. Here you can see I'm actually leaning a little bit more forward, trying to put a little more emphasis on my chest as I actually trained shoulders yesterday and then trained them again. I don't know how I did that, I must admit I wasn't lifting as heavy, but on the Smith machine, 20 and a 10 aside, it felt pretty comfortable. So after I finished my shoulders and triceps session today, I just moved into a few sets of these bicep curls, concentrating on form more than anything. As you can see, the elbow is staying in a correct position. And this is an exercise, if you wanna build up good curl form, you need to be doing. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. It has been Greg Lot Fitness. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.